I didn't even realize I was wearing my ACDC socks. Hi, my name's Dan Cosgrove and I'm a guitarist. I play in a band called NZDC and we're a uh, ACDC experience. Full on experience, costumes and all. One of the most popular songs I get asked to teach is Thunderstruck up, by ACDC. And I've been teaching that for years and I was always thinking that it would be awesome to play that in a band. And when I, one day I had the idea to get a whole bunch of mates together and actually put these songs into practice and that was pretty much the birth of NZDC. Obviously we have the die-hard fans, the die-hard ACDC fans who come out to every gig and have been fans since the start and they're always up the front and just you know going hard. But then we have a whole lot of new fans that uh, weren't necessarily into ACDC too much. They came out to, out of curiosity, really, to, some, to see us, and and we've actually made fans of them, which is really cool. Now they're big ACDC fans, so that's pretty satisfying. Uh, so my band members, they're pretty fun. They're all very, very talented guys. Um, uh, I thought really hard about who I'd want in the band, and it wasn't just the skill. It was also guys that I knew had great musicianship and get along really well together, and just guys I could have fun with and act like a fool on stage with and that's exactly what we do every night. Uh, we have Isaac Pethybridge who plays Malcolm Young on the rhythm guitar. And we have Dan Gordon who plays bass playing Cliff Williams. And we have Mr. Jeremy Badger who's playing the drums and he plays Phil Rudd. Obviously myself, uh, Dan playing Angus. So we have Bruce, Mr. Brucey Jordan from Brazil. He is our um, singer. He plays Bon Scott and Brian Johnson. So when I, when I came up with this idea of, of this ACDC experience, um, I got my bunch of musos together, but the only thing we didn't have was a singer, because that's pretty hard to replicate in this band, to sing like Bon Scott and Brian Johnson. So I think I put an ad out on social media looking for a singer, and we searched for a year, and we didn't have a singer for a whole year. We were just practicing every month, tightening the songs up for the day that we did get a singer. And we had about five auditions, throughout that year and all of them were good in their own sort of right but it just wasn't quite the right thing we were looking for someone who could who could um, capture both Bon and Brian until we met our Brucey and um, he took a bit of convincing I kind of stumbled upon him by accident and he was sort of thinking ah oh, could join so I had to sort of like talk to him over a series of months just to get him to come down and he came down for a, for a bit of a practice and we just hit off straight away chemistry was there so I and mean, from then on we just started booking gigs and went for it. Um, one of my most favourite recent gig memories was actually not a moment in a gig but it was, it was the outcome of a gig and that was we played recently at a venue that we were a little bit scared of playing because it wasn't really our clientele, it wasn't really the sort of place we'd usually play so we didn't know what to expect in this gig and um, it was a sold out show and it was a lively show and everyone was enjoying themselves so we were pretty satisfied at the end of that one. In five years I think I'm pretty happy what we're doing at the moment just just playing around the country touring the country doing different venues I'd like to go to a whole bunch of new towns we've covered sort of the main cities but I'd like to go to a whole bunch of new towns and I like to be able to say that we've played pretty much everywhere in the country. We're all different, but we all come together um, sharing the love of ACDC, and that's what we love. It's when we get up on stage and jobs don't matter anymore, we just get to rock it out. Thank you very much.